Oh, here at Grand Valley. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? So you're all set with that. And then this whiteboard has position groups, so where they are during their individual drills. Uh, and then you can see where all the position groups are. There's for their individual drills during practice. And you can head out and go through those glass doors on the left and hang on the sidelines. Look at my dog right there. Sir, yes, sir. Broncos high. Come on, boy. You good, man? Good to see you out here, man. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, all the way. Nah, bro, that's how you go. Oh, behind. Oh, 
Oh, he got a low. He got a low on y'all too. Oh, he got a low. Oh, got one, coach. Zero got enough. Right, I usually hard. Right, catch the other one. Oh my gosh, he was through. Safety! Hey, Donnie, go over there. Oh my gosh, he was through. Hey, Donnie, that shit, you on the wrong side. You know, you know what? Get up out of there. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Oh, got one, coach. Got one, coach. Oh, yeah. I got the root. No, no, I, got, I got you. I got you, though. Oh, oh. They see me over here. Really take oh, shit. Look, he had a beer over there, too. <laughs> oh, he yeah. had two. Got a flag. <laughs> Got him right here in the corner. Got him right here. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Good one. Good one. No good. No good. No good. Good catch, though. Not a catch, though. It was a good catch. Bitch, the guys aren't trained for it. Right. We're watching with guards all the way. Throw it, Avery. Throw it, Avery. Get rid of the ball into the end zone. Oh yeah, nice kick! <laughs> yeah, all the way out. Yes, yeah, sir. Hey, what up? Guys, they get the ball. Right. Don't get a shot, two, one, two, three.
That's a far way up too. Go, go. go. He really got through there though. Yes, sir. Uncle Dan.
Where you go? Why are you way down there? Huh? Yeah. Oh, oh, he had him cooked right here though. The tight end had him. Good one. Right? Organization, this community, 
the people that represent Allendale Grand Valley State. And I, I'm going to wear this with such great pride, but I know next year you guys line up and you're playing for a national championship. I know so you've got a fan that lives in Georgia. Tell me what what are we doing? What we all say we say we all. We all on one? No, no, just say, 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 we all. We all. We all. Thanks, Uncle. In the football program, we have 125 seats. And yeah, we put some more chairs in there. So there's both a catch a ball today? I did. I didn't drop one either. What's up, dude? What's up, man? What's up, man? Can you go? What's up, man? Can you go? Because of the experience, right, the knowledge, 
right? And like what was poured into me as a student athlete here 15 years ago. Well, there's no way to follow Coach Dunning. That, that voice, I ain't got that. I can scream and yell at a high pitch to stay up with him right now. So I appreciate that. My name is Ian Shoemaker. I've been here. I'm one of the newer guys. I've just been here this last month. Right, so these practices you're seeing, we've installed a new offense and trying to put that together just over these last month, and the kids have been doing a hell of a job. Uh, I just got here from the University of Hawaii uh, this, this last month, and uh, like I said, I'm glad to be here. This is a place, and again, you'll feel it from the people, and you'll feel it from the community, and you'll feel it from the building, right? There's investment here. There's investment in the kids. Again, I'm so excited to be part of this program. You should be very excited to look at one of these jerseys and think that could be you. And there's a reason why you're here. These are invites, right? These are not just things right, that any kid can come to this practice. So again, you've been invited here, it matters. I'm gonna be recruiting uh, the Northern Indiana area and into Wisconsin, right? And I'm gonna see every quarterback right, that comes through this mid, mid United States area and be evaluating them as well. But I appreciate you coming, investing in your child, right, and helping him get along in this path. And can't wait to uh, be able to spend some time with you as we go. Thank you, I coach the running backs and I'm the special teams coordinator. Uh, the guy that spoke today, I did not play for him. The two guys that spoke first, Coach Bozeman, Coach Lewis, I did play for them. I played here from uh, 2014 to 2018. I uh, graduated here, got brought back in 21 at GA, and now I'm full back. I got brought back full time last year. I'm going to my second year full time as a running back special teams coordinator. Uh, this place is awesome. This place is everything to me. This place means a lot. You will see that because of the people around. The coaches, there's going to be a few more coaches that said they play here. But this place is phenomenal. And you guys will see that because of the people. The people, the people. I recruit the mid Michigan area from Flint all the way up into Mount Pleasant, got the East Lansing area, the Lansing area. Then out of state, I recruit the Southern Ohio, from Dayton, and Cincinnati. Appreciate you guys being here. Thank you. Glad to hear it. Okay, I'm Ryan Olson. I work with our wide receivers here. Uh, I also recruit the Chicago land and surrounding areas in, in uh, Illinois. Uh, right now, right, you guys are getting the experience that all our players got right, as they were juniors, the right, majority of our players as juniors, right? Going through this process and understanding what all these guys have just said. Right? So I've been here now for three years, going on my fourth year, so right in between kind of all these guys. Got to see a lot of different in our area in Northwest Ohio. We go Sandusky down through Tiffin and back over to like Panworth there to the northwest corner of the state of Ohio. Um, going into my second year here at Grand Valley as the offensive line coach and just kind of getting a piggyback on a lot of the things that these guys have said already. It's a great place. It's a unique place. It's a special place to be. And you see a lot of great things in an awesome state and all that stuff. And that's cool. And that's great. And it's really fun to have nice stuff. But the biggest difference is the people in it. You got to see and experience the players and the practice and the feeling of the energy of what it's like to be a Grand Valley State football player. And now, as you go into position group talks and all that stuff, make sure you soak in a little bit of your first taste of what it'd be like to play for that coach, what it'd be like to be here, maybe in that meeting room or having that experience as a player. So again, use us as a resource today. Get all the questions that you came with answered before you leave, and have a great day here with us. Thanks for coming this. So I played for Coach Mitchell, for Coach Booster, Coach Booster with my this coach, uh, joined the staff in 2023. We're going into my second year on staff. Uh, just like everybody up here has said before me, the people are what make this place special, right? We the head football coach, Grand Valley State, 25th year coaching, uh, fourth year here at Grand Valley State. We'll get into that in a second. I'm going to start this thing with a uh, foundational principle of our program, one of the bedrocks, one of the things we stand on, and that is an attitude of gratitude. Right? Attitude, gratitude. I'm going to start with this. I get to leave the ultimate college football experience, which is Grand Valley State. Winning this program by winning percentage in the country, regardless of the division. I get to leave the best young men, best 18 to 23 year olds that you just watched down in Lover Stadium. Get to leave this stack. There's an attitude of gratitude every, every morning when I wake up. Attitude of gratitude of the guys that just talked to you, phenomenal, the best staff in the country. Leaders of men, 
incredible mentors, incredible teachers, incredible football coaches. Okay? But there's guys that played here, and not just played here, dominated here. You just heard them introduce themselves. Okay? And there's an attitude of gratitude that they came back to be on this staff. There's another huge attitude of gratitude. Moms, dads, some grandmas, some aunts, some coaches, some coaches that took their Saturday to bring you to Grand Valley State. So thank you, moms, dads, aunts, grandmas, big brothers, sisters, coaches. Like, it's an awesome, awesome feeling. When I'm, when I'm standing here looking at it right now, every seat full in our team room to come see the program that I lead, that's amazing. Okay, and that's how we wake up every single morning. There's an attitude of gratitude, yes, I get to lead a program with the standards and the expectations to be one of one. Room, it's a huge reason you're here. I took a picture, put it on this slide right here. We've got, uh, got some trophy cases around here, right? Home of champions. We've got the Kelly Championship Lobby, National Championship Trophies, All-American Awards, Harlan Hill, best player in college football. But we've got one special trophy case for, for Grand Valley State football. We call it our yearly trophy case. And I gotta update it because that's a 22. I gotta put that in the other trophy case. Forgot to do that, I apologize. But we play for four trophies every year. That's the expectation. We've got two rivalry games, one with my alma mater, Wake State, that's the wooden shoes been outside this building one time in the last 35 years. Not really much of a rivalry anymore. <laughs> There's another rivalry trophy we play for, and that's the anchor bump. Team up 131, and about an hour north until you smell it, all right? Turn, go west until you step in it, all right? But uh, we play a team out north, and we play for the anchor bump trophy in 11 and 2. Okay, we whipped our rivals ass twice. One by 21 points, that was 14, they have seven points late. Two and all against that football team, ended a back-to-back -back national championship run. All right, Cooley College football, you heard all these coaches come up here and talk about what? What was one of the common things every single coach said? People. Talk about the people. Yeah, 16,000, lighten up lovers, it's awesome on Saturday night. These facilities, yeah, they're great, comfy chairs, Got our football only Odie weight room. We've got the Kelly Indoor. All right, we've got the facility. When they all talk about the people, and that's what makes this special. So that's what we're going to spend most of our junior day about, is talking about the people, talking about us. And you've probably heard it, all right? In college football, probably, somebody's probably giving you a little advice, say, don't commit to a coach. Right? Don't commit to a coach. Why is that good advice in the, in the recruiting process? You want to raise your hand, Tony? Coach is late. Coach is late. And it's probably pretty damn good advice across the country. But at Grand Valley State, pretty unique. Scott Wilson. Hey. So for the last 39 years, the culture, the philosophy, Grand Valley State has remained the same. Has remained the same. And you heard it from the coach. Okay? We buy our houses. I bought a house right here in Elliott. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I don't have an agent. I don't have my life. And there's a picture of me right up there. Ironically, okay, it's uh, Ray and Valley State there. I'm getting beat late. Okay, getting beat late. And Mike Lusty got the, got the pass off there. Okay, I just uh, let me in from uh, Grand Valley State. It's clear my hands late, but I, we got the pass off. All right, from Wayne State, I went on uh, and coached and taught. Awesome question. What do you got? Uh, the kids that do potentially end up coming here, like, well, what's the timeline on them, like, getting on the field and having them like, Learn the right to play. Yeah. Learn the right to play. Period. End. Okay? And again, I would love to redshirt every single freshman we bring in. Because I'd rather play with a 21, 22 year old than a 17, 18 year old. Right? There's a ton of transformation that happens from 17 to 22, 23 years old. Okay? But if you earn the right to play, and you're the best at the position, heck yeah. Now we've got a three-game redshirt rule that we were able to play our redshirt to three games. I think we played 13 guys last year. 
to get that experience for them for the future. Great question. Anybody else? What are the top degrees at Grand Valley? Yeah, and that's the awesome thing about Grand Valley State, and one of the big reasons I left my alma mater to come here, right, is it's very, very rare, I talk about the Austin College football experience, very, very rare that you can compete for a national championship, you can prepare for the NFL, and earn a world-class degree, right? But some of the top uh, degrees at Grand Valley State, Seidman School of Business is lights out. Uh, it's moved downtown Grand Rapids now, right? You got the, the internships. Luke McLean right now, uh, he's a safety force out of Rockford. He's on what we call a midterm gap semester. He's interning right now for Stryker. He's going to make about 15 grand this winter. He's going to come back. He's going to play next fall, win a national championship. Going to graduate in December. Guess where he's going back to? Striker next winter, he's still got another year of eligibility after that, make another 15 grand, going to come back, play a senior year, win a national championship, and the cycle continues. And there's a lot of guys like that, but Luke's doing that right now. So Seedman School of Business, uh, the medical uh, medical mile in downtown Grand Rapids with Corwell Health and all those, right, there's some awesome medical majors, but it, there's over 100 and it's engineering, uh, Joel Linden, engineering major from the 2022 team. Um, like I said, criminal justice, sport management, you name it, we probably have it. Yep. Education. Yeah, in Division II with the partial scholarship model, there's not a set number. It's how many can we fit with the scholarship allotment we have. And as we go through the recruiting process, we'll dig deeper into that. But, uh, because it's a partial scholarship model, if, we, if there's guys with when we got hired, it was a 2.53. Okay, so in one year, we went from 2.53 to 2.69. And we're looking for that same exact improvement by uh, moving forward. Anybody else? Last question, I got live. We'll get one more in and I'll finish. Well, for the people that don't get a chance to play in, I thought what you guys do is Yeah, awesome, awesome question. Yeah, because we've got our guys, right? career earnings, all this stuff. Well, the reality is most guys are going to be professional in something else as they say in the NCAA, correct? Okay, so we just launched um, a program, we call it the Next 50. Okay, the Next 50 is a mentorship program where we're going to bring in alumni from different walks of life. Um, we've had two this winter. We're going to continue on through the process as we go throughout the year. Um, but we had a former CEO come in, a guy that uh, has been a CEO, just retired about seven different corporations, Vic Shepard, and uh, he talked to our guys, and then anybody that's in business sits down and, and works on mentoring and a network deal with him. Mike McFadden came in, and Mike McFadden is on the elevator right there with the National Championship Trophy. All right, he works for Johnson Johnson now, medical sales, uh, just killing it in the sales, and he's leading the sales department. He's a regional uh, super manager right now. So he talked about sales, and he talked about those things. That leg up, you got the, the world class degree, and now you have the background of people that were sitting in these seats. They're going to help. It's important. This is your life up until this point. Right? Because this decision, where I go to college, is going to set up so many decisions after this. After this. Okay? What job I can get, what career I can go into, probably who I'm going to marry. My best friends are going to come out of this decision. So I'm going to leave you with this, is this five for the next 50 idea. If this is the most important decision, because this isn't just a five-year decision. This is a 50-year decision. These five years will set up the next 50 years of your life. All right? What are you making? What are you making this decision? What information do you have? What factors are you, are you weighing to make this decision? And again, I'll go back to what I started with. I'll go back to what I started with. It is the ultimate college football experience. Because what is Grand Valley State? Grand Valley State is the opportunity to earn a world-class degree. A degree where you can go into society and make an impact and change the world. That's what the guys that are coming up in front of our guys in that next 50 program, that's what they're doing in education. And, and, 
prepare for the NFL. Three weeks ago, I went to our GLIAC Pro Day. We had five guys, five guys off the 2023 team participate in that Pro Day. And now they're playing the waiting game, talking to their agent of where they're going the last week in April. Just like Matt Judon, just like Randy Cobb. And, and, be part of the strongest, best brotherhood in the country. W-A-W-G. We all we got. You got a chance to see it on the field today. The brotherhood in action. Beating the living hell out of each other for two hours. And you didn't get to see this, but they're partying in the, the dance locker room afterwards. Partying in the dance locker room afterwards. A world-class cigarette. Compete for a national championship every single year. six to eight blitzes in a game, right? Well, those coverage are gonna, are gonna get paired with all those front stunts and blitzes. But when you start taking all those fronts and all those stunts and all those blitzes and matching them all together, you can't run man protection. Because it's just people are moving on defense to the point where you won't protect anybody. In 2004, when I was a college freshman, you could run man speed protection because everybody wanted, if you were a three technique, you're probably playing beat yet. Stairs here. Um, we got just a couple of minutes. We can use the rest of everything on our way down. We can do that. Man, because you don't even know how wide your shoulders are, you don't even know how long your arm is. All right. Uh, so when we go, we'll be in one group and we'll move and rotate as a group, as offensive line. Okay. So the rest of the offense will be in there. So we'll get to that spot and we'll all move together. Oh, man, man. I don't want none of that smoke. How are we doing? Good to see you, baby. <laughs> you not. You know, you know, how are you doing? Good to have you guys here. How's it going, Kirsten? How are we doing? How are we doing, guys? Yeah. 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 yeah, keep coming on in. We'll kind of separate the stations, get some measurements on you. Just keep coming in so we get everybody in here. Nine and a quarter. Two 
294. 294.